Now, your Channel 3 Max Advantage forecast. Well, I wanted to start off by showing you where we got to this morning. Saranac Lake, well, they got down to 30 degrees through the morning hours today. New York's North Country, far from the only places in the 30s. You can see the Northeast Kingdom, 37 for a low in Morrisville, 36 to low temperature this, this morning in Newport. Take a look even down by the Massachusetts state line. Bennington got down to 37 degrees for this morning's low. So definitely some pretty cool, chilly fall-like air to start off the day today. The rebound process has started definitely being fueled out there by sunshine. You can see as we take a live look outside from Burlington, a little bit gray, a few clouds out there. Also that wildfire smoke and haze, but the rebound process has started nonetheless, thanks to a little bit of sunshine coming in at 61 degrees right now in Burlington. Winds out of the north between three and six miles per hour. Pressure coming in at 30.42 inches and hanging steady. Temperatures out there right now, most of us back into the lower 60s now, but still a tad cooler out by Montpelier. They're coming in at 55 also got 57 and 11 in New Hampshire. Elsewhere, we're generally talking about the lower 60s as we head through the rest of the day today. Most of us are going to be talking about daytime highs, generally in the mid to upper 60s. You can see here on satellite radar, not a whole lot to be talked about right now. A few fair weather clouds, but that's about the gist of it here through the rest of the day today. That's about all you're going to see here on Futurecast as well through the rest of the day. A few fair weather clouds mixed in with that haziness that we've been talking about. As we head towards tomorrow, again, probably tomorrow morning, starting off the day with a little bit of that patchy, dense fog, as is fairly typical for this time of year. That fog begins to burn off tomorrow afternoon, and we'll be left with, yeah, a good amount of sunshine here through the rest of your day on Thursday. As we mentioned, also dealing with a little bit of that haze, thanks to Canadian wildfires burning off to our north. It looks like the bulk of the haze really going to be in place through the day today. It's still there tomorrow, but in lesser concentration, so I don't think it's nearly as hazy as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. If you're heading out to the lake today, not shaping up to be too bad of a day out there. Winds light and variable, waves a foot or less, UV index moderate under those mostly sunny skies overhead, water temperature of 66 degrees. As I mentioned, both as most of us today generally talking about daytime highs in the mid to upper 60s, although there could be a few lower 70s too. Again, tonight shaping up to be a cooler night out there. As a matter of fact, again, places in the Adirondack and Northeast Kingdom could be talking about overnight lows in the 30s. Then we'll rebound back nicely for our day on Thursday again. Tomorrow, most of us talking about daytime highs in the lower 70s. Now look at that seven day forecast. Still talking about this lovely stretch of dry weather continuing. Probably a few more clouds overhead as we head towards the day on Friday. Then take a look at what happens as we head towards the first few days of October. Sunday and Monday, October 1st and 2nd respectively. Some of us could be talking about daytime highs approaching the 80 degree mark.